Hello my friends, Caitlin here, and let's talk about a new movie adaptation. Whoa, whoa. And that would be David Levithan's Every Day, a young adult romance and fantasy novel that was a New York Times bestseller and is hitting theaters on February 23rd. So I first read Every Day back in the summer of 2014, and now here it is being made into a movie. Ah. <laughs> when I read it, I thought this would be a really cool book to adapt, but also probably super difficult to pull off. You see, it's about someone named A, who has no body of their own, and every day they wake up in the body of another person, having access to their memories, and must live out the day as this new person. How do you make a movie about a character that has a different body every day? Seems kind of impossible when your stereotypical movie marketing, especially in the young adult genre, is all about what sexy new heartthrob is playing the main character. Ugh. So, I was really surprised when I first saw the trailer for it because it looked like they actually might pull it off. From just watching the trailer, I've made a couple assumptions about how they maybe are approaching this book as a movie. But I make no claim to knowing any more than you do, I'll still have to watch the movie and see. But what I'm thinking is that we might get a little more from the perspective of A's love interest, Rhiannon, in order to have more of a traditional main character or narrator. Which considering that David Levithan wrote a whole companion novel, Another Day, from her perspective, I imagine there's plenty of source material to draw from. I also wonder if they'll water it down a bit and make the main conflict the feasibility of A and Rhiannon's relationship, which is definitely important in the book, it is a romance novel, but there are definitely many layers to the story and I think one of the more interesting conflicts is the ethics of what A is doing, how they conduct themselves in the bodies and try not to disrupt others' lives, and how some of their choices in trying to be with Rhiannon lead them into some sticky situations. If they tone down that part of the source material, I wonder if it's going to fall into the YA movie Happy relationship is unattainable tropes with lots of angsty pining. That's definitely my fear. Sometimes I worry about books like this getting caught in the we need to focus on something trendy in order to make this a marketable movie. And then in the transition from book to movie, the story loses some of its gravitas. I feel like that happened to John Green's Paper Towns, which still makes me sad. But not to be too much of a downer, I also want to talk about what I loved about the book and what I hope is still conveyed in the movie. So A has a pretty lonely existence. Having a relationship is kind kind of out of the question because they have no gender and no body of their own. Something about which humans are surprisingly picky. We like to say that we love the person inside the body, that we love them no matter what they look like, but how many of us have relationships with people that change their body daily? Well, none that I know of. I also loved how this book paid such fine attention to the nuances of the body. We take for granted our physical form. We know how we walk and talk and move and function without having to think about it. But if our consciousness was suddenly thrown into someone else's physical body and we had to pass off as them for a day, I imagine that we would become much more aware of the physical demands the body makes on us and how that affects who we are. Whether that's someone with a physical disability or a mental illness or someone more or less physically fit than we're used to being. One thing I see that they're definitely playing up in the marketing is is love is love, no matter the body. Which makes me excited for it. I think even though it's a sci-fi premise of a body jumper, it has lots of real life implications for the LGBT community. Sometimes I try to imagine what it would be like to be Rhiannon, realizing that the person you love isn't confined to one physical form. I can imagine the falling in love, but the staying in love amid all the difficulties of changing bodies seems much more complicated. I like to think that I'm not a shallow person, but could I really do that? Anybody, any day, I just, I don't know, it's tough. So that's why I wanna see the movie. No spoilers, but I'm interested to see if they come to a slightly different conclusion in the movie. Who knows? Which brings us to the question for today. Do you think you could love someone like A, a different body every day? Tell me down in the comments. Oh, and if you are interested in the book or movie and wanna see even more of my thoughts, I wrote a blog post about how the book portrays mental illness after I first read the book, so be sure to check that out. And if you're like me and you wanna read the book before watching the movie, I have an Amazon link down below for you. Plus, remember to check me out on these other social media sites. And if this video made you smile, do me a favor and subscribe subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know exactly when there's a new video. And I'll see you guys next Thursday. Bye. <laughs>